So looking at the bracket, we only have one Thai pair in the semi-finals, and thankfully they don't have to meet each other. So we, it could potentially be a, a Thai Korean semis if Kitataru Gula and Jongjai win, or an all Thai semi in one half of the draw. That will keep the uh, Thai fans very happy and interested until the end. We have got semi-finalists in the women's doubles, women's from men's singles and mixed doubles. Thai uh, semi-finalists, that is. Yeah, we saw them in action yesterday, didn't we? Uh, They've met twice before. Jong and Kim have won both their meetings. The last time they met was a few months ago here in red. Bangkok. Red, black for you. Uh, just a few months ago in the World Tour Finals. This side, serve or receive. Who will receive? Jong. Jong will receive. Who will serve? Jong will want to serve. So the last match of the night. Hopefully the ties can end on a high again, as far as they're concerned. Okay, it's Kitty Tarakul, Jokopan Kitty Tarakul, 30 years of age, from the north of the country in Chiang Mai, 170 centimetres tall. She's currently playing ninth in the world. She was as high as fifth. That was around the time they were the World Tour Finals in December of 2022, these two. Rawinda Prachongjai is uh, 29 from here, the capital, Bangkok. These two together have won uh, Uber Cup medals, silvers and bronzes, 2018, 2020, 2022. Asian Games, a bronze in the women's team event. They had uh, wins against Chang Ching Hui and Yang Jin Tun. Straightforward one, even easier against Michael Frogard and Sarah Tewson in the last round. In the Southeast Asian Games, plenty of gold in the women's team and women's doubles events. And on the tour, they've got three titles, more than that just a short while. Jong Na -un is 22 from the capital, Seoul. Currently at sixth, and her best is with her partner now third, also at the end of last year. We've uh, got gold, of course, last year in Korea, and right here in Thailand, actually, they won that. So, German recently they got a silver. China, Kim Hai Jong is from Jeonju, 20, uh, sorry, 25, 162 centimeters tall. And uh, they have won two titles together the Korea Open last year and the Japan Open as well in 2022. Runner up at Indonesia Masters in 2021. Beating Reina Miaura and Ayako, Ayako Sakuramoto in three, and then taking a three as well by Vivian Hu and Lim Chu Sien. That was a much longer match, 72 minutes. Ready to play. Freya Lajelia from Malaysia, French. Service judge Emily Ruchman. Yeah, the uh, ties have won uh, the 2021 Orleans Masters, the 2019 Chinese Taipei Open, and the 2018 Thailand Masters. So they want to go one better this time and win the Thailand Open if they can. The last result in the final was in the high low open last year when they lost to their compatriots, the Imsad sisters. In 2020. 
to. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Jung Da Eun and Kim Yi Jong, Korea. And on my left, Jong Kopan, Kitty Tarakun and Ravinda Prajongjai, Thailand. Jong Kopan, Kitty Tarakun to serve to Jong Na Eun. Lebo, Please. So the ties will get us going here. Remember the two times they've met. The Koreans have won both in straight games. What will happen here? <laughs> well, that's just a taste of things to come. Service over, one love. get the Two contact she would have wanted. Kitty Tarakul. Got in each other's way there. John Service Kim first by the board for the ties. Good, that's right in the corner. Two, oh. <laughs> How frustrating is that? Right there, they made it. Get the Tarakul. Very quick, so very long so far. High support, unwavering. Very long rallies already. Extend their lead by three. Five, two. Having to work very hard to earn these points. There's that strapping again that we talked about with Kikutara Kul.
good around the net area, haven't they? The ties. Made life quite difficult for their opponents. Finally, they get a winner there. Kim puts Seven it away, and it's been three a procession of points six. for the ties. Kind of hard so far. Six points in a row the ties had, and it's come to an end. Service over five seven. Yeah, we can keep within this as we say circle of striking distance, I think they'll be pretty happy with this. As I said, it's grafting Seven, away, isn't it? It really is. Eight, five. To try and keep up these points, not easy at all. <laughs> That's the longest rally at 59 shots. lead by most they had it earlier you could have a call of a dong day
Well, if you love a, a good stat or so, Service you know, like and that kind of thing. Six, nine. The Thais, Kitataro Kola have a very poor record against Korean doubles pairs. They've met 41 times. They've only won six, which means more than 90% of the time they lose to Korean women's doubles pairs. That is concerning, for sure. Only six Seven, wins out of 41 nine. against Thai, uh, against Korean pairs. As for the Koreans, they won eight out of 12 against Thai pairs. So a much better record. 67% or so record against Thais. <laughs> right now, so the Thais were in front. Ten, Apart from the first two points, seven. they've never trailed. Challenge here. Way, way out. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. Eleven seven interval. And at the break, Kitty Tarakul and Pajongdai are leading eleven seven against Jong and Kim. Eleven seven play. lead now the most it's been six points Kitatarukul and Prachongjai very good so far it's been a lot of work though oh, great defending well that might be a point they feel they should have won it's not for the excellent defense of the Koreans before this just going across Prajong Jai oh, slowly clawing their way back well, these two 
pairs met at the Indonesia Masters quarterfinals as well. And on that one, as we know, the Koreans won it very comfortably. Different story at the moment. Service over 14 9. So, <coughs> Thai's record against Koreans in quarterfinals is also not good. Just one win in nine. What's the other? Eight. Over of those 10, eight matches, 14. only three times have they gone to three games. But right now, they still have this decent lead. Don't want to let this go. Overall in quarterfinals. Kitatara cool. Keep up. Service uh, Nice big deficit they have. That lead. 15, 10. She was lurking, wasn't she? She's the tallest of the bunch. Whips it back. Yeah, they've had 70 quarterfinals. Kitatara cool and Prachong Jai. Uh, 36. Ah! And lost 34. Service over 11 15. 50% of the quarterfinals that they are in, they win. It's a pretty decent record to get to 70 quarterfinals. They've been in 17 quarterfinals. They've won more than they've lost. 10 of the 17 and have gone their way. Well, this is good from the Koreans' point of view. They've battled back a little bit here. Only three points in it. <laughs> make that four, though. Service over. 16-12. Not much they could do about 13, that one, would it? 16. Just tumbles over the net. Very little anyone can do, really. A quick acknowledgement of that. But the other day, take the point, of course. Really 
Very nicely done by Prajong Jai down the line on the forehand. Service over 17 13. Four is the lead, four is what they need. Surprise here. 14, 17. Put on quite the run. And they've not managed more than two points on the trot in this entire match so far, this game, I should say. That's been still the first game. This might start to get nervy for the ties. This is about as close as it's got in a while, a long while. What a time to be doing it for Jong and Kim. <laughs> Drops that in, lovely. Beautifully done. Service over 1815. It's going to be a good view here. They're just a little foxing their opponents there. <laughs> That's good. Oh, wow. Darko feels challenged. Convinced that that was a good shot. Very tight. Over 16, 18, please. That's short. What a time to do that. Service over 19, Not any pressure. 16. Well left there. But Jong Jai. Getting that little bit closer again, Service looking over, to just turn 17, it up a bit here. The Koreans, before the ties could get to 20. That's where it gets very difficult for the Koreans with no margin for error at game point. They know they have to win that point, so if they can get as close as 19 as possible before then, this makes their job that much bit easier less hard probably is probably the more accurate way of saying it. Three game points for them. 20, game point 17. They can 
finish off. Three game points now. Kittitarkul and Prajongjai. <laughs> and they do it. It's the first time. Rawinda Prajongjai and Jongkopul Kittitarkul have taken the game off Jongna Eun and Kim Pai Jong. Does that bode well for them? Let's see. But an excellent start for the Thais, who led after the first two points. Never looked back. Second game, the ball play. So a great start for the ties. Can they continue this? One. Remember the uh, Koreans actually won the first two points of the last game and it was a ties all the way after that. Kind of reversed Service here. Over. One, two. If they can keep kind of this kind of lead, as they did pretty much throughout, they took the lead from 3-2 onwards in the first game and never looked back. And that was uh, very admirable because the Koreans applied the pressure whenever they could. The lead was up to six at one point. In the end, they won by four. Uh, it's got shades of the previous Four, game now to it.
Oh, it's good. It just stopped on them. Three. Frustration four. there for the ties. After another mega long rally. Yeah, very confident as well, wasn't it? From Jong Chai. On the line, that one. Still maintain that lead. That's the important thing here for the moment. Tarakul and Prachong Chai. Very, very long rallies. To three again. Six, three. Battling away, aren't they? Scrapping for these points. Kitatarako is playing the big shots, but Rajongjai gets in on the action here. Well, this is where it's key Five, for the Koreans to seven. keep it going, keep themselves in the hunt, as it were. This is where that pressure is we're talking about. Just a point behind. It is early days, but if they can overcome this, keep that pressure on the uh, ties, and maybe even take the lead, that well, might stand them in good stead. Ties well, aren't looking at the moment to try and kill off these points quicker. The Koreans are very happy to play this out. And again, <laughs> that just goes against what I'm saying. Their aim, of course, the, the ties would be to try and be a little faster on these points. So 
service over 7 8 Again, it's about one point just there. Yeah, this is the, the problem on this end with the drift Ten, seven. behind them. Shots like that will go, can go quite long. It's a couple of times that's happened already. Oh, just in, just in, clipping the line. Service over. Eight. Bit of a gamble seven. that one. Jong and Kim. Remember, they've not had the lead since the first two points of the opening game. They get the lead, they haven't even drawn level. Eleven, nine, interval. The interval. and Prajongjai are ahead here. It's less of a lead than the last time, but they're up by two here, having already taken the first game. That's the risk they run playing clears and lifts Four, from this end. Nine. So, having been around the one two point mark for quite some time, Kitty Tarakul and Prajong Jai have extended that to four. It's important in the context of this match. They inch their way towards 21. <laughs> Make that five. This is very similar to what we saw in the previous game. 
got a little nervy towards the end. for Jong and Kim to put something on here to apply that pressure again as we said Maneuvers from the ties. Oh, after all that, well, it looked like the ties were in trouble a lot earlier on. That I think it's got to be the longest rally now, surely. Not a mammoth one there, the crowd trying to play their part as well. They're getting a bit excited. That was an awkward shot, wasn't it, from Kitta Thank you. Seven shots, there you go. Bearing down on them again, the, the Koreans. to be building up how many of those have gone long today uh. they're feeling I'm sure a little bit better Challenging, they are, but it's hopeful the best you feel. Kim kind of half heartedly putting her hand up for the challenge. the lead to six this is the biggest lead they had in the previous game as well three away now remember it was around this stage the Koreans started applying the pressure they were a lot closer than this 
you never know. Got great resolve with these career players. Service over. 13, 18. John and uh, well, I've had a fantastic time this year. Neither pair. Kitted Arakura by Jong Drive. Won as many as they've lost. Ten out of ten out of twenty. Koreans eleven out of seventeen. Here for the Koreans. 14, 18. Delight for the ties. Bit of pain so there for the one, Koreans. 14. Getting a little excited, told to just rein it in a little bit. <laughs> Only the seventh win in 42 matches for John Kopan, Kititarakul, and Narinda Prajongjai playing Korean opponents. Only the second time in nine, ten, beating Koreans in quarterfinals of a tournament. Excellent from them. The first time they've ever beaten this pair as well. All smiles now, and after the first two points of the opening game, they never looked back. Really were marvellous today. And they'll be really happy to be into the semi-finals of their home tournament. There is Thai representation in either half of the draw, so there's still the possibility of an all-Thai final or an all-Korea final, or a Thai versus Korean one. <laughs> a few permutations there, but it does leave it tantalizingly poised. And that will give the great confidence going into the semis against further Korean opposition. Jungkook Ban Kheti Tarakul and Rawinda Prajongjai, the fourth seeds, beat fifth seeded Jong Na Eun and Kim Hai Jong of Korea. 21-17, 21-14, they've done it in just under 50 minutes. Rightfully celebrating with their fans who've been superb today. They've played their part, haven't they? And have seen both the Thai representatives at the end of the evening winning their matches. Great to see. Uh, it's just so good when the players make time for the fans. Not always easy, but uh, in your home tournament, I think you put that extra special effort in. It. So good for them. Let's review what happened today. Well, Massive match at the start of the day. Ansa Young, the top seed, beating Han Yue 2-0. Also, straight games victories for Dechapol Puav Ranakro and Subsidy Tanatanachai, uh, beating the Dutch pair of Robin Tumbling and Selina Peak, the six seeds. 
Uh, then we went to the women's singles, another one in the semi-final, at uh, the quarterfinals. Third seed at Herbing Chow, defeating the local favorites, Port Fabi Chochuwong, in straight games, the eighth seed. Liu Chik Yu continues his fine run here. Very, very tight. Eun Se Yong had a six-point lead at one stage in the second game, but Liu wins that 21-19, 23-21. Probably the most straightforward game of the day. It was an error-strewn performance by Yo Chia Min of Singapore. Mia Blickfeld wins that 21-11, 21-9. It then started to get a little bit more complicated, a little harder, a little longer. Mohamed Sohibul Fikri and Bagas Molana edged out Lu Ching Yao and Yang Po Han in three, also in three. Couldn't love it, had to dig deep at times, but uh, from the start of the second game, didn't really look back against Lu Guangzhou of China, the fifth seed. And talking about not looking back after just the second point of the first game, Jokopan Kititarukul and Rawinda Prajongjai were in front for the rest of the match against Zhong Na Eun and Kim Hai Jong, their first ever win over that Korean pair. So that brings us to an end of another fascinating day here at the Thailand Open 2023. And tomorrow it will be semi-finals day for you here. Eight matches on court one. We look forward to bring them all to you and we'll see you tomorrow afternoon, 12 p.m. local time.